Hello everybody and welcome to another Quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video we're going to be covering millstones, and also windmill power. Windmills can work a number of different ways, but there's one way that makes them work really, really easily, and that's just simply placing them on the ground to use them to generate power. Now we kind of did a video on pump stacks and water wheels, which was very jam-packed and kind of fast, and I kind of want to make this one a little bit slower and a little bit more simple for everybody to understand. So I'm going to be building a windmill. Now windmills are very simple to put together. You simply go to the uh, machinery and mechanisms section of the game, so uh, machines and fluids, we're going to click on windmill. Now, a windmill is can go pretty much anywhere. It can go up high. It can go down low. It can go right outside anywhere. As long as it has access to the sky, otherwise it will have no wind and it will not work. Now, we're going to place it, and windmills use wood to be constructed, so it doesn't really matter what type of wood we use as long as we have enough. So, bang, we're going to select wood and build our windmill. Then we're going to unpause the game and let our dwarves put together this windmill. And once, once the windmill is put together, I'll continue the video. So now that the windmill is constructed, you can see that it is spinning. This means it's generating power. If we click on it, we can see how much power it is generating, which is going to vary based on the amount of wind. But as you can see, it's generating 40 power. Now, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be powering a millstone, which is a very simple thing to set up and power into our fortress. And I'm just going to use it as our example. Now, a millstone is used to grind various plants down into flour, which is used as a cooking ingredient into our fortress. Now, millstones do require bags, so do make sure that you have some bags available. Uh, in this fortress, we have some bags lying around, so that's that's what I will be using, but if you don't have, don't have any bags, I recommend either making some out of leather or cloth or silk, or alternatively purchasing some off of your recent uh, crap thrower or uh, trader that shows up. Now, we're going to click on this add new task button, and then we are going to click on millstone, or type in millstone. So make rock millstone, this is done at the stone workers workshop, which I'm assuming you know how to build, and I will be clicking that. Now, I'm just gonna say do it now so they get it done quickly. Then also we have this little clothing set up here that we uh, set up earlier, and as you can see, we have some pigtail socks down here. I'm going to queue up some processing plants just so that I can get some more fabric to make us an extra bag in case we are out. Once that is all completed and the millstone is done, I'll continue the video. So as you can see here, the person is coming over to build the uh, bag that I have ordered up and also our millstone is complete and sitting right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to construct this millstone. So we're going to go to the, uh, once again, back to the machines and fluids section of the build menu. And we are going to be selecting this millstone and giving it a place. Now we can just use the closest one because we know that it is the only one that we have and we are going to place it. However, you'll see that we get a notification which states that we need to make mechanisms, which is quite easy. So we're going to quickly make up a mechanism shop for the extra step. Now, a mechanics shop is kind of used for traps and various other me mechanisms, things for power, and generally something that you kind of want to have one of during uh, building any kind of machinery in Dwarf Fortress. So we're going to quickly make this up and we're going to make two rock mechanisms just to have some extras lying around. Now, we're going to be connecting power to this windmill, so what we're going to need is we're going to need a axle. So we're going to... Some migrants have arrived. Oh, that's lovely. We're going to click on machines and fluids once again and then click on horizontal axle. Now, these have one of two orientations. We can go north and south or we can go east and west and we can drag them as long as we want. Welcome newbies. And we're just going to put it up to right about here. Now, one of the most interesting changes with windmills in this version of the game that wasn't possible in previous versions is you can put power out the side. Previously, you could only have power coming out directly from the bottom, which still works. So if you build it up one layer and channel underneath it and connect uh, a gear to the bottom of it using mechanisms. You can also power things that way. I'll show you how to do that at the very end of the video. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, go into machines and fluids. Once again, we're going to build a millstone and we're going to use closest materials and we are going to click right here and it's going to appear. Now a dwarf is going to come over it shortly and they are going to build this. So once it is done, which shall be here in a moment, here it comes and done. We now have access to our very own millstone and we can add mill. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a uh, some flour right here. We made a bag up here for the flour and they're going to process the flour out of the quinoa and then that our quinoa or however you pronounce that and then that is can be cooked at a stove as part of food. And so what we're going to do next is we're going to dig down beneath this thing and we are going to dig two over to right in the middle and 
right underneath it in the very center. We can hear combats going on somewhere. Well, that's unfor unfortunate. Looks like my hunting elephant is fighting with a badger. Well, I'm sure it'll win. Now, if you want to connect power underneath, maybe you want to do the same setup indoors. We're going to deconstruct our millstone and power it from underneath just so I can show you how that works. So we're going to deconstruct these two and we're going to go one down. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go back into the machines and fluids section and we are going to select gear assembly and we're going to put it directly beneath this guy. And please, dog, don't stop it. There you go. So as you can see, it's directly beneath this and it's being powered. Powered. And then if we wanted to power it indoors instead of above ground, what we can do is we can once again go into the machines and fluids section and we can place our millstone right here and it will again be powered just as it was before except underground instead of out in the open. If you have any questions about millstones and or windmills, please leave a comment down in the comment section and either myself or somebody else will do their best to get to you. And I just want to say thank you very much for watching all these videos and the support the past month has been fantastic. I hope it continues on and I just want to say if you're new here, welcome. I hope you stick around. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one.